2020 Mustang rear subframe. I just ended up losing Optima Ultimate Street Car Challenge because of a mistake that I made that I was unaware of. This is the subframe bushing that holds it onto the car. You can see that hole right there. That is where the bolt goes through. Now the bolt is that big. You can see right there. That's the hole it goes through. Notice that? Notice how much play there is. It's the same thing for all the holes. Okay. Say all of them. See, there you go. So other vehicles that I've worked on in my entire career, the hole is the same size as the bolt. So when I put it in, it's, cent it's center and that's where it's supposed to be. But for some reason, Ford made a huge hole. So if anyone in the comments can post and explain to me why that is a feature of the 2020 Mustang, I would love to know. Because what ended up happening is when I reinstalled the rear end, the whole rear end was facing that way. So every time I applied power, the car's rear end went that way and my front end went that way. So I have no idea why they did that, but I am extremely, extremely disappointed. So... That's all.